<coughs> okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to figure the ridge board lengths for a hip roof. So this one's a, a, a draw of a hip valley, so you got a hip over here and a hip here, and you got your valley rafter in here, and then a hip rafter over here. The, the orange ones are going to be your commons. So I need these three commons, these two, those three commons. Um, and the red, of course, are your ridge boards. We got to figure out what the length of the ridge boards are. Okay. So we'll look at this corner first. So I drew a larger diagram of this corner right here. So you have your ridge coming in through from the from in here, and then you got your commons and your hips and your common coming off the end. Now this is the optimum way of doing it. This works if you have an even number across here. If it's an odd number, then it won't work like this. Then you have to, the common raptors will be offset. They'll either be further down this hip, you'll have them down here, and then they'll land over here so it won't be the same. But this is for an even numbered width or span of your rafters, okay? So to figure out this, rafter length right here, what you're going to do is you're going to take the length of the structure, so it's 16 feet from here to here, because I got hips on this end and hip on this end that are the same, so that I have 16 feet, and then I'm going to subtract the width of the building, which is the span. So I'm going to subtract 8 feet, that gives me 8 feet, okay? But that is not the distance or the length that you cut the, the ridge board because of the measuring point. All right, all of these have to fit together, and so you have to measure off of this point. So, everything to work, this ridge has to be a little bit longer, these are going to be a little bit shorter. Okay, so in a previous video, I show you how to figure common rafters and hip rafters. In the common rafters, you subtract off three quarters of an inch when you lay out the rafter, and for the hips, you subtract off an inch and a sixteenth. So the distance from here, from the end of this rafter to this measuring point, is three quarters of an inch. Okay, there's your three quarters of an inch, that distance right there. For a hip, it's the diagonal distance from there to there. That's your inch and a sixteenth. Okay, so this then is your measuring point. Now, since my ridge is coming in here and that's the end, what I have to do since I subtracted off of this, I subtracted off of this, I subtracted off of this, that means I have to extend the length of this ridge by three quarters of an inch, okay? So I shortened this common, this common, and this common, so I have to extend this ridge this three quarters of an inch. So now my ridge is at eight feet plus three quarters of an inch, okay? That's for this side. Now I have to go and look at this side. All right, and that's this diagram here. Again, here's my measuring point. I've cut off three quarters off of this common and three quarters off of this common and an inch and sixteenth off of this and an inch and a sixteenth off of this so that my measuring point is here. And again, this is the ridge. This ridge right here is this ridge right here. So it's coming in there. And what did I do here? I extended it by three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to add another three quarters of an inch onto the length of this ridge, which gives me a total length of eight feet, one and one half inch. So that would be, I'm going to show you how to mark it off here in a minute, but that would be this longer board. Okay. Now I'm going to look at this other ridge board. So this drawing right here is this drawing right here. Here's my ridge coming in, shortened three quarters, inch and a sixteenth, it's three quarters, right? So what did I do with this end of the ridge board? I added 
three quarters of an inch. All right, but here coming into here, I didn't add three quarters of an inch. I actually subtracted off three quarters of an inch because it's supposed to go to here, but it only goes to here. So in this case, I have to subtract off three quarters of an inch. So if I if I take minus three quarters on this end and plus three quarters on that, that end, they're going to cancel each other out. That gives me a total, this one will be eight feet, one and a half. This one will be eight feet, okay? Because again, it's the 16 minus the eight, but I'm subtracting off three quarters there and then adding it back over there. So this other ridge is only eight feet long, okay? So then how do you lay them out? You have to look at where they're gonna land. So this one, this ridge right here, is gonna have a common attached to it right here on one side and a common on the other side, okay? So it's marked the same on each side. Then you would go, most rafters are two feet, I'm gonna write a little bigger, two feet on center. So then I would go over two feet. Now, you have to be careful that you pull correctly. So if I'm measuring from, if I'm pulling from the outside edge and I go 24 inches to here, then I have to add one and a half inches for my rafter, okay? So I'm pulling, in this case, we'll call it the left edge. I'm pulling left edge to left edge to at six, so at two feet, four feet. I got them a little, let's put them a little smaller. So we got two feet, four feet, and six feet. You're pulling them to the left edge and then adding the one and a half. Because and then if I flip it around and I pull from this side 24 inches, it'll be the same thing. The, the raptor sh should land in the same spot, pulling from both ends, okay? Now, over here, you're going to have a common is going to come in here at, this is 8 feet, no, yeah, this is 8 feet, so you're going to have a common coming in here, right there. So now that one will have to have its tail cut off. So you have to put, make sure you put a, um, a cheek cut on that, that bottom side. All right? So then you would do the same thing on the other side. You flip it over, and then you would mark both sides so you knew where to put your rafters. Okay? Now on this other ridge board, you're going to start pulling from this outside edge again. Then you go two feet on center again you're pulling this time you're going to pull right side so then you add your inch and a half and then you go to four feet and add that inch and a half and then six feet to the right edge as you go so you have to make sure that if i'm pulling from here i'm adding in the or subtracting in the, cor the correct direction. The best thing to do is measure from both directions to make sure that they're lining up or they're landing in the correct spot. Now this one wouldn't get one on the end because it's going to butt up to the other rafter. Okay, So this one won't get one on this other end. You get one at two feet, one at four feet, one at six feet, and then this end of the rafter will butt into the, the other end of this rafter, okay? So, that's how you would lay these out. Make sure, if you're not sure, you draw your little drawings and you get where your, where your measuring point is. So, like I said, you're gonna, you subtracted three quarters off of this, three quarters off of this, when you cut them, you measure an inch and a sixteenth off of this one, an inch and a sixteenth, that'll help you find that measuring point, okay? And then that ridge butts into this ridge, so I have to subtract off that amount because this is already here, 
but I have to add it over here because I went further than my measuring point. Okay, so you got to get your measuring points correct when you measure for your ridges. So draw your little diagrams so that you can see exactly how they fit together. All right.